Tô pum 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 tchim. Pum 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 tchim. Tchim tchim pum pum tchim. I bet y'all can't tell I got on pajama pants now. Yo, what's going on y'all? It's Briggs from Briggs Fitness back again with another video. This is one of the most frequent questions I'm ever asked. How do I start? Where do I start? I have no clue. I want to do this really bad. I want to lose weight. I want to be healthy. I want to look good. I want to get ready for that season. But I don't know where to start. So I'm going to make a video for the people who don't know where to start. But before we get into this, this video and my kids dinner last night was sponsored by BricksFitness.com where you can get hats and hoodies and t-shirts. I also make meal plans. I also have online coaching packages and I want you to download my free ebook. It's called The Weight Loss Mindset. It's, uh, it's really good. Check it out. Anyway, let's get into the video. If anybody understands the frustration of not knowing where to start, it's me. I failed countless times before I was finally able to successfully lose weight. So I understand how complicated and, and intimidating the process of weight loss may be for someone who is just not familiar with the process. So first things first, I want you to stop overthinking it. That's something I always used to do. Like I used to think, oh damn, um, what type of exercises should I do? What type of food should I eat? I used to overthink so much about it, it used to discourage me so bad because I was so intimidated by the process because I didn't know what I was doing. But simplify it. Weight loss is simply a caloric deficit and consistent movement. Get your heart rate up, break a sweat. However that may be, chase some ducks in the park. So I'm gonna break this down into three easy steps. Step one, set your mind, right? Create a vision for your body and this is the most important part i think because without a vision and without the confidence in yourself in that vision you're not going to be able to do anything and i know this is not one of those tangible steps this is more of the unpopular mental aspect of fitness but i think this is one of the most important things create a vision for your for your body create a vision for your life i used to set people's transformation photos as my home screen on my phone and as a home screen on my on my computer and just i always kept in mind the vision and i always tried to reinforce that it was possible all the thought patterns that you had before in the past when you failed because if you're like me you failed countless times i want you to undo those thought patterns you can't address this weight loss journey the same way you did the last ones if you want to be successful this time so Get rid of the timelines, form a vision. That's so important, form a vision for your body. Like close your eyes right now. I know this is weird. Close your eyes right now and picture your body the way you want it, the exact way you want it in detail. How do you want your chest to look? How do you want your, your midsection to look? How do you want your arms to look? How do you want your back to look? Envision it. And I want you to hold that vision in your head. Burn that into your subconscious because that is so powerful. And I know this may sound like hocus pocus, but it's powerful. Like if you have that vision and you keep that vision at the front of your head, you know, when you're feeling discouraged, when you're facing adversity in your journey, you gotta, you gotta revert back to that vision because that vision is what's gonna keep you going. So step two, you have to plan. Step two, you have to plan. And I know you heard the cliche before, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I know our dads or our uncles have all told us that before, but it could not be more true, especially when it comes to weight loss. You have to plan ahead because if you are not prepared and with me, when people ask me like, what was the biggest factors that contributed to my successful weight loss? It was definitely the fact that I was always, always prepared. I had my meals on deck. I always made sure I scheduled time for me to meal, meal prep, for me to go to the gym, you know, for me to make sure I get enough sleep. I planned it ahead. I made it a priority. If you do not plan, if you leave your house, if you know you're going to be gone all day long, if you leave your house without food, just expect to fall short that day. Just expect that you're not going to be able to stick to your program because you did not plan ahead. You didn't have your food with me. I used to drive around with a cooler in my trunk. I kept ice packs. I kept uh, I kept Tupperware with prepackaged meals. If I had to pull over and run into 7-Eleven and pop that joint in the microwave, I did it. You have to plan. 
You have to plan, you have to plan. Assess your life, look at your schedule, look at your habits, look at your routines, and find a way to seamlessly put fitness and nutrition into your life. My son is calling me. As soon as I finish recording this video, I'll call you right back. So give me about 10 minutes. Okay. All right, I love you. Too. Sorry about that. Step three, you wanna calculate your calories and go shopping. I know I gained hundreds of pounds, 100 plus pounds after high school for the simple fact that I didn't, I didn't know how many calories I was eating. I would just eat. And a lot of us don't know how many calories we should be consuming in a day. We kind of just eat. I don't believe in calorie counting forever, but I do think it's a powerful tool in the beginning of your journey that you need. You need to have calorie awareness because at the end of the day, weight loss is about creating a caloric deficit. You have to burn more calories than you consume. And it's impossible to do that, not impossible, but it's very hard to do that if you don't know how many calories you should be consuming. Find out your maintenance level of calories. I have three links in the description to calorie calculators that I like. The ones that I find are the most accurate. Click the link in the description, fill out the, the little, uh, calculator and it'll tell you exactly how many calories you should be eating based on your specific height, weight, and your goals. I'll also link videos to what you should be eating. I made a video about uh, superfoods and I also made a, a video on how to eat healthy on a budget. So it has tons of ideas between those two videos that you'll be able to use to make a grocery list and go shopping because weight loss is 80% nutrition whatever, however you wanna do the ratio percentage wise, but nutrition is the most important thing when it comes to weight loss. Step four, find a style of exercise that you enjoy or that you hate the least. <laughs> I know not everyone's gonna enjoy exercise, I get it, but at some point you have to either try to fall in love with it or just do the thing that you hate the least. And do it consistently and that's the most important thing, you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. I can make tips videos all day long. I can make tips videos every single day for you till I'm blue in the face, but nothing's gonna happen for you if you do not execute and you are not consistent. That about wraps up the video. Please hit the thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, guys, click the link in the description and subscribe to my other channel, my lifestyle design channel. It's called Exposed Breaks. Um, yeah, as always, guys, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.